So today I want to show you the records in my collection that have increased the most in value. Which one could it be? So hey there and welcome back to Sonic Safari, a channel featuring tales of record collecting. I am your host, Mark, as a Swedish hipster lost in the fog in San Francisco. So last week we went record shopping in Oakland, California, which is one of my favorite places to go digging for records. So if you haven't checked that one out yet, please do. I really enjoyed making it. But for now, let's have Discog provide the verdict. So I must admit it, I absolutely love it when other channels in the VC go through their most expensive records. So I just had to do it myself. You guys know the drill by now. I'm using the medium value in Discogs and I'm not including any box sets. I did put a bit of a spin on it. I've been focusing on records that I bought for retail value. So records between $25 and $35. And from there, I picked a list of records that surprised me that they've increased in value from one reason or another. So it's not necessarily a top list, it's more of a curated list, but with no further ado, here are 12 records in my collection that increased in value. Okay, so here we go. The first one is this one, Sparkle Horse, Good Morning Spider from 1998. The medium value on this one is $88.50. So this is their second album, and from the success of the first album, they went on tour with Radiohead, who claimed that they were one of their favorite bands. Uh, but unfortunately, the singer Mark Linkus overdosed in his hotel room, and from the consequence of that, had to sit in a wheelchair. So this record is very much about that. And I find it interesting that the first song, Pig, is extremely aggressive, but doesn't really have anything to do with the vibe of the rest of the record is very gentle and fragile and you should start with the song sunshine which is absolutely fantastic okay so at number 11 we have this one kings of convenience riot on an empty street and this is the 2016 reissue it comes on this gatefold and the medium price of this one is 92 dollars at the moment so yeah these are the norwegian simon and garfunkel you could say perfect harmonies soft and warm sound and two of the songs on this record features the Canadian singer face, and she just fits perfectly into their sound. And these guys are so harmonic that I remember seeing them live in concert in Madrid. And at the start of the session, they asked people to not clap along, but to snap their finger. They didn't want it to be too loud. But yeah, an amazing record, and it comes on this brown marble that looks pretty amazing. All right, so let's break the top 10 with this one, Ben Webster's Soulville. This has a medium price of $110. So this is a session from 1957 with the Oscar Peterson trio. And I have the analog production reissue from 2013. That sounds absolutely fantastic. So I'm just going to say one thing about this record. If anyone asks me, hey, I want to start listening to jazz, what should I start with? This is my go-to. That's how good it is. Right, so at number nine, we have this one, and it's Chet Baker Sings, and this is the Tone Poet from 2020 on this gatefold, and it has a medium price of $130 at the moment. So this is Chet Baker's debut album from 1954, but the track listing on this Tone Poet is based on the reissue from 1956 that had six additional songs on it. And My Funny Valentine, which is on here, is really one of his signature track. It's just a perfect song with this silky smooth voice and it really shows the reason why they call him the prince of cool so yeah this is a fantastic record so next up at number seven we have this one sonic rollins quintet rollins plays for bird and the medium price on this one is 130 dollars so this is a session from 1957 on prestige where saxophonist sonny rollins plays songs related to charlie parker aka the bird and the sound on this record is absolutely phenomenal. This is the Animal Production reissue from 2014, so very happy to have this one. So I did decide to not include this one on the list. It's Smashing Pumpkins, Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness from 2012 because it is a box set, but I did really want to show it quickly because it's so beautiful. Just look at those sleeves. And this one is now going for a medium of 262 dollars um but there is another record on the list and it's this one it's their second album from 1993 siamese dream and this is the 2011 reissue that now goes for 155 dollars 
So even though they were labeled the new Nirvana there for a while, I think this record was really the stepping stone that would end up becoming the symphonic epic outrock chaos that is melancholy and the infinite sadness and songs like today and disarm really cemented them as outrock royalty my favorite song on here is mayonnaise all right so moving on the record some other time by bill evans was released by resonance records for record store day in 2016 and it's a great record with that classic lineup with eddie gomez and jack dechanette and impossible to find at the time but Luckily, they repressed it again for Record Store Day in 2020, which is when I managed to snag it up. It has a run of 6,000, and I managed to get a low 120. And this one goes for around $80 at the moment. Um, but while I was looking for this one, I actually stumbled upon this one, which I had no idea about. It's called Another Time, and it was recorded only two days after the first session. Again, from Resonance Record on this gatefold. Also at a run of 6,000, and this is number 1,400. And this one now goes for $158.75 to be very exact. So Resonance Record is one of these labels that tend to get it right and I pick them up whenever I can. So very happy to have this companion piece. Okay, so at number four, we have this one, Alice in Chains, MTV Unplugged. This is on Music on Vinyl from 2010. My favorite episode of Unplugged by far. And I think it's taken by the fact that they hadn't played together in over two years. So there's a certain level of hesitation between the members of the band. They get the lyrics wrong every now and then, but I think it just adds to the intimacy of the recording. I think this album now goes for about $172. Now, there's also another Alice in Chains record on this list, and it's this one, also from Music on Vinyl, 2010. And this is Jar of Fly and Sap, which were the two acoustic EPs that they released in 1992 and 1994, respectively. And this one goes for around $100 right now. And what's interesting about Jar of Flies is that it's actually the first EP to ever go number one on the Billboard 200 list. All right, so here we go, top three, and in position number three, we have this one, The Beatles, Sgt. Pepper, Lonely Heart Club Band. And you might be able to help me out on this because I'm a bit surprised by this. So you might remember that they reissued most of their catalog in the early 2010s, and this is the 2014 reissue. And I remember being in Amoeba in San Francisco, seeing all these records and realizing that I didn't have any Beatles record at the time, believe it or not. So I picked up a couple of them including this one now none of them have increased in value except for this one that now goes for 183 dollars medium on discogs and well over 200 to buy it right now so i'm not sure exactly why it is but it comes with this cool insert and also what i'm guessing is the certificate that it is a mono recording so yeah of course very happy to have it an amazing record all right, so at number two, we have this one, PJ Harvey's Stories from the City, Stories from the Sea from 2000. And as you know, she has recently reissued her entire catalog, which was amazing news because it's hard to find her records out in the wild. So I was picking them up as they came out and I saw this one at Amoeba in San Francisco, assuming it was the reissue, only to come home and realize it's actually an OG. And this one now goes for $187 medium on Discog. And it is very much the perfect album in my opinion, and Kamikaze is by far the best song. All right, so here we go, number one, because maybe I don't really want to know, How You Garden Grows, the debut album from Oasis, definitely maybe an OG from 1994, which now goes for $202 medium on Discogs. And yes, I am cheating because this is technically my wife's record, but don't tell anyone, okay? And I know this has been played a lot, but even a VG, VG Plus copy right now on Discogs goes for well over $300. And the strongest member I, I have from this record is I had just taken my driver's license. I was 18 years old and I was going to take my dad's car for a drive for the very first time. So I popped the cassette in and drove off into the sunset blasting supersonic at the very highest volume possible. So an amazing record and the one that has increased the most in value in my collection.
All right, so those were 12 records in my collection that have increased a lot in value. I would love to hear from you, the records that you have that have increased a lot in value. All right, so that's it for today's episode. Please like, subscribe, and all of that good stuff. On the next episode, it's party time because we are celebrating. Until then, tack